All right, welcome to it, the Plan B After Show podcast, web exclusive, Brock and Hunter. It's, it's because because I've been drinking coffee. Yeah. I kind of have the movie guy. The I can I can get it better with with drinking uh, coffee. Movie guy. Yeah, let's see if I can. <clears throat> In a world of imagination. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. deep. Yeah. yeah. And it, it also goes into the, uh, I am Optimus Prime. Dude, watching that guy, I just watched a little video. It almost seems uncomfortable to talk that way. You know what He's, I mean? The dude's got to do it the whole the whole movie, too. And Have you, you ever seen uh, he, the dude who does it? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I saw a clip of him yeah. in the studio. Like, they were talking about it. And he's already got, like, a rough voice. It's almost like the dick. It's not. It started like, with the cube. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's deep, gargly, and man, like it, you got to do a whole script that it that just way. seems like he's got a even when he's just talking, he has to force so much air through yeah. those grizzled vocal cords. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. I hope I, my voice isn't like that when I get older because it's you know, it's I got to push. What, what if he started doing it and it just stayed that way? Stuck like I'm walking around right? talking like this all the time. Hey guys. Like, are, you doing, are you doing a bit right now? What are you doing? No, no, no that, this, this is, is my voice. voice. This is how I always talk. It's like, sounds our, like you're trying. Our, all right, we'll say Autobots roll out for me. Autobots. Roll out. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. You get <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get uh, social of what is trending today. Uh, National Hot Tea Day today. I don't mind hot tea. Ooh, fuck hot tea. You know what? It's International French Onion Soup Day. That's one of my favorite soups. God, I love French onion soup. No, don't tell me you don't like French onion soup. No, uh, maybe I had the wrong one. Oh, no, nah, I don't like the full onion. I don't like the full string onion. Like- no, 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 it's not that. No, French onion. You're thinking of the wrong thing. French onion soup comes in usually like that little tan and and brown uh, 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 cup, and you got the soup in there with the with the with the like the caramelized onions, and then it's got mm-hmm. the bread like the 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 um, hmm. marble rye cut up in there and then you got that layer of mozzarella cheese that's been baked over top okay maybe i did have the wrong one then oh because the one i had was like it was very bland it was just like broth and like somebody threw an onion in there no 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 no. then that's that's shitty for do french onion soup like if i go to a place uh you know who has a really good one there in it's across from the the theater in coloma maybe no friendly is it the friendly is that what i'm thinking of Mm mm-hmm yeah, the friendly, friendly dude. They got awesome French onion soup. That I wouldn't doubt you. Good. They got they got great food, man. Oh, so I, anytime good, I'm I'm kind of going through Coloma there, I and I have time, I swing through uh, that place just to get a lunch to, or a quick bite. Yeah, we went there. Um, God, what were we in there for? But anyway, we we go there quite a bit, and uh, I usually I'll get like the baked potato and the French onion soup, and that's a fucking meal, dude. Oh, mm-hmm. it's so good. I love French onion. See, soup. I I think why I don't have uh you know too many opinions on the French onion soup is because I always get the other. I always get man if there if potato soup is on the menu yeah i i'm yeah i can't get any other soup Mm -hmm. sorry what's your favorite Uh, soup man i love like clam chowder new england clam chowder is really good it's a good one the red or the white (laughs) never Never remember remember that that. Uh, french onion is is one of my favorites a broccoli cheddar is good that's good too oh hey my mom's homemade potato soup with the mm-hmm. uh with the eckridge sausage in it i don't mm-hmm. know what she does to it nice she probably doesn't tell me because she doesn't want me to know how much garbage is in that soup <laughs> but that's why it's so good yeah um you know i uh, like a nice chicken and dumpling i love soup i could live honestly a soup and sandwich combo i could i could eat a soup and uh, a soup and sandwich every every okay, single let, day let's be honest that's all we can afford anymore that's these true days that's right up. the hobo meal right i'll there. take yeah. uh, uh, okay i'll just but, do the stupid sandwich that's why you know why fucking uh, uh olive garden crushes it with their endless soup salad and breadsticks yeah. it's a perfect meal mm-hmm. oh it's so good man but yeah it's kind of a it's kind of odd that they do that as far as like we're gonna fill you up with breadsticks, mm-hmm. and you think it would take away from them, you know, selling entrees. Here, here's the thing: is they they probably make their money on this because the soups. I hate to say it, and again, Olive Garden, I love you. If you ever want to sponsor the show, feel free. Uh, it's not like they're these super handcrafted soups. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. not like they're it, it, and the breadsticks probably cost a nickel to make a dozen. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. the salads aren't anything. It's it's what what is soup salad and breadsticks like eleven ninety nine? 
something like that. Yeah. They're probably making like they're banking. You know what it is? It's bringing people in through the door. Yeah, and that's yeah. the most important. Once you yeah, get through 100. the door, pfft. here's the here's the other thing too. Like even me, like last time I went, I was forcing myself to get like that last bowl. Most of us are are filling up on breadsticks, and we get maybe two bowls of soup and one refill of salad. Maybe one thing of salad. Mm -hmm. We're not we're not you know a, a clearing them out of soup salad and breadsticks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I saw on the internet, mm -hmm. and I haven't been able to try this because I haven't been to an Olive Garden uh, since I've I I saw this. And maybe you know any a little bit about this or something about it. It's blew my mind. Hmm. And I'm gonna try it next time I go to Olive Garden. Hmm. So when they come up and they have the, the cheese grater, yeah, you can buy it. They sell it. They sell the cheese grater for stupid cheap. And it's nice. Oh, really? Yeah. So you if you ask your waiter while she's grating your cheese, okay, I want to buy one of those. Yeah. She'll nod and say, I'll be right back. And she'll go really? out back and bring you one in a box. Really, new. those are nice no idea. Yeah. So apparently, this was like a TikTok video or one of those shorts or whatever, and somebody else went and did it, and in their video, fucking got one. Really interesting. In the box, just like they said in the video, they're like, yeah. "It's funny." And apparently, we we don't advertise it, but we have a whole box of these things out back that we sell. Really, and nobody knows about it. That's interesting. I'll try. You know why? Because we go, the last time we went to Olive Garden is when we went to Sky, uh, Sky Zone down in Mishawaka. And uh, I'm sure we'll probably go again uh, soon. Um, and I'll try it. I'll, uh, it have to Dude, remind it's your me. birthday. I, we might go for lunch. Yeah. Hell with it. You, all right. So you're going to take her there just so you can try this thing? Shh. Hey, she likes Olive Garden. She like loves she's Olive a Garden. good meal, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's funny, dude. That's funny. But Hey, you're lucky I'm not taking you to Fazoli's. Is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, there's the Fazoli's and all I the other Fazoli's pasta though. places. We had a place in Springfield called Pasta Express that was really good. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Mm. Yeah. You get you could get like a full on like Italian meal to go yeah. in no time. Fazoli's know? had the endless breadsticks too, right? I think maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think you had to go to the county to get them though. Or mm. no. I just remember I'm like, should we go to Fazoli's or Olive Garden? Fazoli's yeah. is cheaper. Hey, when you're at Olive Garden, though, your family. Don't forget that. Family. Don't forget that. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Last food thing. I will just end it up. There's nothing really else going on uh, today. Uh, Meyer has uh, discounted crawfish, like the big bag of mm -hmm. crawfish. If you're looking to do a bowl, boil, it was only like 10 bucks. Really? Usually it's like 14. I bought a big old bag. So I got a big, like, three pound bag of you crawfish. You love crawfish. I love seafood. I love seafood. I, I could eat seafood every single day. Kristen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think I might have had a crawfish once. Yeah. And I don't remember what it was like. Is it Here's just like shrimp? It's, it's a lot of work. It's like a little lobster. It's a lot of work for very little meat. Um, And you can buy, you can go to like the, the grocery store and get the, just the, the, the crawfish meat, mm -hmm. but it's, it's the experience. Like I like having like, like the, uh, like a shrimp boil is one of my favorite things with, yeah, yeah. with the corn, the potatoes and the shrimp and the crawfish and whatever else you want to put in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I just love seafood. I could eat seafood every single day. I There's a guy seafood. I saw online who eat. There's a certain way you eat the crawfish, where it's quick. So, so you pull the head off, right? Yep, yep. Suck the juice out of the head, did. and then you and then you get the meat out of there. You pull the meat out. So, but again, it's like I mean, if they're big, you'll get a little bit more. But you're you, you're getting like little nuggets. You're not getting a lot. So, what's it taste like? Uh, it depends on your seasoning. If you just do it plain, like in a in a in a boil of a uh, 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 boiling water, like you cook it in boiling water with no seasoning, mm -hmm. it's just got kind of a kind of a, a like a seafoody taste. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I mean, everyone, if you do it right, you get that in. You get you know your your Cajun seasoning. You get all mm -hmm. the other stuff in there. Some hot sauce on there. That's yeah. yeah. Yep. You know, a weird thought. Why a lot of fish taste similar, right? That's kind mm -hmm. of fishy taste, and fish kind of tastes like fish. Why is crab the only thing that tastes like crab? Is like in its own category. It's yeah, not it's, like in another like. Oh, that's kind of crabby taste. It kind no, of shell, it's crab. shellfish. You know, because shrimp is the same way. Shrimp has a very distinct, distinct mm -hmm. taste in my mind. You know, mm -hmm. huh. yeah. Kiki made a great shrimp dish last night. Oh my god, it's fucking delicious, man. Mm -hmm. But. And again, the whole thing with like crab and why I don't go crazy for it, you like butter. That's you're eating butter. All right. You're dipping it or in the cocktail sauce, whatever you, you yeah, have yeah. there. But 
I'll eat it. You never get enough of it either. No, it's like thirty dollars for this, and you're this and you're thing? and you're doing all this work to try and get that little yeah. bit of meat out of there. So yeah, right. that's why I like imitation crab meat. It's like ten percent crab. The rest of it's like Alaskan pollock or something. Like that, you know? <laughs> it is and, though. Yeah. Right. Still good. Good in the good in that in that tartar sauce or Got that, a little that, orange in there. It looks like crab. This is tuna fish, man. But, all right, there you go. That's your plan. Be after show podcast web exclusive. We'll see you guys next time.